Hello and uh, welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you one of the most popular perfumes from the house of Louis Vuitton. This is Le Sable Rose. Le Sable Rose means the pink sands. So I'm not sure exactly why they chose this, but I think uh, because roses makes in English rose, roses, the sable roses and kind of gives you the impression that we talk about roses. But yeah, uh, enough about the title. I think on the market there are so many alternatives for wood and rose perfumes that it's almost difficult to come with a perfume that you would also expect some success from it. So, so far I have L'Autre Wood from Maison Lancôme, which I think is one of the best wood roses on the market and my absolute favorite, so like the top wood, natural wood roses smell, it's Onyx from Aaron Terence Hughes. So this is a perfume that is close to perfection for what regards wood and rose. I have not smelled anything better than this one so far. So now I will spray this on my wrist go through the notes with you and tell you how I like it or if I like it. The samples from Louis Vuitton come like in like this in 2 milliliter uh, size and they are quite nice. I have several samples from Louis Vuitton and I like that they give you really the good um, impressions about the perfume if you like it or not. They are big in size and of high quality. So I will spray now and go through the notes. You have the Rosa Centifolia Absolu, which is just super naturally and beautifully smelling. Bulgarian Rose, Wood, Ambergris, Black Pepper and just a tiny bit of uh, Saffron into the composition. So the first spray, so like in this moment when I sprayed it at first, it reminds me very much of Rose Incense from Amouage in this beautiful red bottle. So that one has kind of like a metallic smell and Le Sable Rose also for me kind of smells a bit metallic. I don't know how to describe it differently. So it's nice, beautiful, not sweet, not bitter, not um, like a old type of rose smell, but it's metallic. So, and the wood is so nicely put into the background that you can feel it that it's there it gives this woodiness into the whole composition but it's not very powerful like in here as example in here you can smell the wood almost as soon as you spray it the black pepper is also toned down so you don't have this strong spiciness from it what you have in the foreground you have the rosa centifolia absolute which is um, a rose that usually it's uh, grown in grass and I think Mathieu Premier has their own Rosa Centifolia Absolu organic farm. I don't know if they sell it also to other producers or also the house of Louis Vuitton has their own garden there but it's a very natural and very beautiful smelling type of rose and this makes it very unisex so usually you think about rose and you have in mind um, the portrait of a lady from Frederic Malay which is so popular and so well known but I think that one doesn't smell as good and as natural as the Rosa Centifolia Absolu from here and the Bulgarian rose is a rose that is usually used in the Maison Francis Kurkchan creations so Bulgarian rose and Turkish rose and in here together they make like a very nice combination I would say so I smell a lot of rose, a bit of metallic note, maybe it's from the wood, the ambergris. So for me this is a very luxurious and very beautifully blended type of rose smell. I like it very much. Maybe if they would have added a bit of sweetness or like a bit of bourbon vanilla in the background, then it could have become more feminine. But uh, the way it is created right now, it is exactly at the middle of unisex. This can be worn by a man who likes this rosewood combination and can also be worn by a lady who likes this beautifully naturally smelling type of rose, which is uh, not uh, referring to older ladies like this sweet 
British soaps which smell like rose. One thing that I think it's extremely interesting is that the Zara London release that I have reviewed also on the channel a few weeks ago smells similar to this Rosa Centifolia Absolute and I think that one is about 20 euros so it's much 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 affordable than Le Sable Rose from Louis Vuitton and it smells almost similar so what do I think about Le Sable Rose I think it's a very good creation from Louis Vuitton it is high quality it is luxurious it is possible to wear it in all possible occasions the wood is not coming forward very strongly so it will not disturb anyone the rose smells natural and beautiful like as if you walk into a rose garden i see similarities with radical rose but radical rose doesn't have wood into it this is a perfume that can be worn in all seasons so it's not a warm cold or so on in all seasons you can wear this one it is unisex, men and women can wear it without any problems. It's not offensive, I don't think it will offend anyone. So it can be worn also in the office, business meetings, meetings with clients, dates, meeting your parents everywhere. And if you like the um, fact that Louis Vuitton offers a refill service when the bottle is over, that's also a pro for purchasing a bottle from, uh, from them for this perfume. So. This price point of 320 euro for 100 milliliter as of now, which has Ombre Nomade, Le Sable Rose. I think it's quite expensive. And even if they would be 250, they would still be very expensive. On the other hand, you get the beautifully crafted perfume from Jacques Cavalier Belletrude. You have high quality ingredients. This is very, very long lasting. So I can tell you that it will last at least eight, nine hours on the skin here. So until tonight or until tomorrow, even on the skin or clothes. And the fact that you can refill it when it's over. So I think it cost 190 euro for the 100 milliliter refill. There you go. That's a very good recommendation right there to go with it. If you like wood rose combinations. For me, Onyx from Aaron Terence Hughes remains the best wood rose on the market and I would not get the Le Sable Rose because I have this one. But once I have finished the Onyx from uh, Aaron Terence Hughes, maybe I will consider getting a bottle from uh, Le Sable Rose because it's absolutely natural smelling, beautiful, high quality, um, it exudes high quality and it's the quality that you would expect from a big house like Louis Vuitton. Please comment down below what is your experience with Le Sable Rosa from uh, Louis Vuitton if you like it or if you'd like to try it and I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Stay healthy. Bye bye.